up and pull up their socks here. And here we go, the EVO fans cheering on their favorite team. Let's get it going, man. Evil Team Flash. Evil have the 1 0 advantage. This is going to be against game two. Fla Team Flash fighting for their lives, so to speak. And of course, the relegation, which is also very important as we go into it. But, you know, at this point, I mean, uh, Team Flash are playing for everything at this point. Yep, and Evo not gonna make it easy for them at all. Gonna be very uh, hyper aggressive in their jungle as well. Not gonna get a steal, but, you know, uh, mental strain on them. Yes, definitely. All right, if, if we're talking about the draft, though. Who are you giving the edge to just straight off? I prefer Evo's draft. Uh, all the way. Okay, okay, okay. W what is it about the all the way that's so like, I, I, you know, they have this advantage? Oh, <laughs> JP, no, no. Uh, okay, so so the way that I'm looking at this is that um, Evo's plan is to just d delay and drag the fight as long as possible. Mm -hmm. And when you have someone who, like Coconut who's using a Bruno, um, he loves long extended fights, right? With the right. itemization that comes from the mid-game onwards, it's going to be very difficult for Team Flash to play against it. And all they have to do is to make sure that they don't pop the cards out too early. And KCP <laughs> and the rest of the team is going to ha have a really tough time dropping out of it, you know, with the correct timing. I mean, the Pharmacist is actually the number one band in the entire league, right? In uh, MPL's uh, uh, SG Season 4. And usually, it's got like a 50% win rate because the enemy team will usually pick a Valentina into that. And the fact that they were able to hoard both of those picks in that first series, I think just speaks volumes of what they're trying to do, is just limit the fact that you can't steal this cult altar. Yup, exactly. Let's take a look at the emblems as well. Okay, so the Fedrin is going for a more tanky, uh, tanky build, right? He's going to use the con con Concussive Blast as well. Um, you are going to have the Magic Worship on the Pharamis, which I think is going to be an absolute killer for Team Flash. But Team Flash, they're going to start this Turtle Dance first. Yeah, they, they do have the advantage. KCP is like lining up the power of uh, nature. That's not going to be hitting anybody. But Pokemon is going to join the fight as well. Evil playing it very carefully. They see the HP. They can go in. Feather and Airstrike, that's going to lift his zone. JS is looking to just stop that one. They'll stop Remiset, but who gets a turtle? Remiset will secure that turtle. That's going to be the first one. Remiset now has to spin to win. He's going to be getting out of, out of there. Powerful goes down next, and that's going to be first blood going the way of Pokemon. Oh no, this is not where Evil wants to be at this point. Team Flash not only have to secure the turtle, they have also made sure that they have gotten a kill on their hands. Um, and not just any kill, it's powerful. Yeah, that's the one you want, right? That's the one you're trying to focus on, trying to make sure that you just make sure that they have a bad game. But as I say that, this Coconut, the Bruno is just so annoying to deal with in the bottom lane. Uh, going up against uh, Alpha V9, against the Wan Wan, who are you giving the edge to in this little matchup below? Um, based on how the rotations are happening by the teams, I actually would give it to Team Flash side. Uh, one one should do a bit better because they want to make sure that this Bruno does not get there. You're right, you're right, you're right. Definitely needs to stop that, but of oh, course, Feathered back. Airstrike. Again, just the amount of zoning that's provided, Coconut has to just get to safety, and they're giving up, they're taking, allowing so much damage on this bottom lane, but they're gonna back off here, and that did about half of that, you know, that armor plating. I think it was a decent movement by the side of Team Flash. They did achieve quite a bit. You can see there is a slight goal lead advantage for them, uh, but they need to do more, right? And they need to, to make sure that, um, Alpha V9 is protected very, very well at this point. Because V9, if he falls off too much, that's it. Evo is going to win this game flat. Right. And Team Flash seem to have that early edge. They've been put, putting per, uh, a lot of pressure on almost all three lanes. And, uh, you know, it, it's kind of on the back of what Jay is wanting to do. Of You know, we put chip damage in. We'll feathered airstrike. Make it very difficult for you even to come to us. Uh, so far, I think uh, Flash is playing towards the key to... Tree, right? They want to make sure that it's oh, oh, the feathers are a nice taunt. Oh, but he stays alive. The cult altar is going to be on point, keeping JS alive. No way, Jose, for the side of Team Flash. As Evo says, no, you do not block me out. And with that, they're going to save the members of their life. Um, JS with literally a sliver of health as he makes it back. Yes, and uh, you want to kind of do that, but you mind you, your your team is on a, a, a timer, right? The cooldown, if cult altar is down, you're going to have a hard time. You're very squishy. You need to keep yourself alive. But Team Flash now, starting the turtle. Carrot is going to watch this. JS, uh, they go for the nice little taunt onto Carrot, though. And they, they're just going to easily take the turtle here. Yeah, hindsight bias, that was a great move by Team Flash, right? They, the, the ability to make them burn Kalt's altar means that they did not have that get out of jail card. 
to try and contest uh, that turtle as well. I mean, there's a double red free with the bomb on, so I wouldn't expect them to steal it in the first place, but uh, Team Flash with that extra insurance uh, doing very well. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get every single turtle, especially early. Early, Use that advantage that you have. And Reminiscent, you know, again, Balmond is uh, super annoying. Uh, uh, teams don't like to play against it. It's like the fourth most banned in the entire league, so there's a lot of pressure. But KZP, now getting gone on here, should be okay. Yep. Uh, powerful at this point, I don't think he needs to engage. Uh, he needs to go and get the farms coming in. That is what is important for him at this point. Now, if you take a look at the, the items as well, so far the Balmon is doing pretty good. He is going to be building into um, quite a tanky character. And, uh, you know, granted with that double retreat, it's going to be an easy steal for him as well. Now, if you take a look at the jungler on the other side, which is going to be a Karina, uh, powerful, also going for the tank, but it destroyed. might not work out as well for them because right now they actually are at a deficit. Yeah. It's going to be a 1.6k deficit at this point. Early game, Team Flash knows that they're stronger. They're going to continue to provide that pressure. They get the bottom uh, outer turret in the bottom lane. Very, very smart for them. Playing to the T of what they want to do. This Wan Wan, once he gets a little bit more farm, he's going to be very difficult in the sense that he's going to do a ton of damage. And, you know, he's going to be somewhat elusive in that sense. So you got to be a little bit careful of how, you know, uh, dealing with Team Flash at the later stage. Yeah, at this point, I, I just want to keep my eyes on GS, right? He has uh, the ultimate of Wild Charge. He will be going down here. Uh, the Flicker keeping him barely <laughs> alive with the dash. JS doing everything, and they've expended so much. And Team Flash, they didn't get any kills, yes. But they did a little bit of chip damage on that inner turret. Yep, the movement by Team Evil li looks to be a bit lacking at this point. Uh, I think, yes, they are feeling the stress as well. They do have this one-game advantage, but they Blue will not throw it away. Uh, Coconut is left on his own devices. He will get the tower, but he's go probably going to pay with his life. Uh, very smart there by Coconut. Realizing that the entire team was in the bottom lane and they, they shifted to the mid, and Coconut was like, okay, I've got a window, got to take out this turret. They've done that. That alleviates some pressure. you got to do that. Now, this is going to be the third turtle. Team Flash has almost controlled all of them. The Feathered Air Strike, that's going to be used just to zone. They've got the taunt. A a a Melon is trying to stay alive. The Cult Alter keeping him alive in return. Pokemon, Flickers to save. He's fine. Oh, no, they no. got the kill, and they're gonna steal it with that. Pokemon is down next on the list, and it looks like Evil are on the roll with two or three kills as well as the turn. And every single time that you think that Evil is, you know, just dying or they're taking a break, and suddenly they just come back and steal everything from you. Oh, and they want more. T Flash have to run. They've lost the mid turret as well, and Evil have completely turned this around. Again, they don't panic. They play, and they understand that if we just win a team fight like they just did, they can take control of this game. I mean, okay, Evil is definitely evolving at this point, right? This is a very different team than we what we saw in the regular season. And the fact, I mean, JS, he has been a very consistent call all the way from the regular season, right? But his performance today so far is even better, right? JS with the IMU, a couple of nice steals, stealing the little counter as well. Uh, that really changed the game for them in the previous fight. I love how, you know, they took the, they, they won the team fight, they took the turtle, and what do they do? They prov they put push in the other lanes. They took the bottom uh, outer turret. So just like everything they're they're doing, like turns into the next thing. Like it's step by step of things that we need to do properly. Yeah, I mean the take a look at the bot lane. They're already taking the tier two, and uh, you know they're trying on the side of Team Flash to get this uh, tier one at the top, which they have just done so. But nobody's defending the bottom lane. Yeah, they, they're like, yeah, we'll take, the, we'll give you the T one for the T two. I'll take that trade any day of the week. Evil understanding what they need to do. Right now that the fact that there's like, you know there's no inner turret in the bottom lane, there's it leaves an avenue of an attack for them. Team Flash need to figure something out as they're looking to maybe ambush Carrot here. Nah, he, he's, he's fine at this point. Carrot is the last person you want to go on if you're from Team Flash. And I think I, I just yep. want to give you a theory, right? Regular season is Evo training all the different teams to focus on uh, Powerful. Yep, yep, yep. And it, it's smart, right? But look at what Carrot's going to look to do. He does get knocked up, though, but it's Pokemon on him. He goes for the secondary, and he looks to fight here. The Feathered Air Strike is going to be used, and it looks like Powerful does need to be careful, does have the Cult Alter, and that's going to keep them on point. The team fight is just too much to sustain that they have, and they've got Alpha B9. All of the damage has been taken from Team Flash. They've lost two, and Evil have another opening. My goodness. Okay, let me share with you what I'm thinking. This is called Classical Conditioning. Evo is extremely evil. They play the mind games up to this level, uh, you know, psychologically. They, they have trained Flash to be scared of powerful mm. and to try and dive the back lines to ignore everyone else in the front lines. And that 
is just evil right. doing evil things. Evil, I mean, they, they won the team fight, they turned it into the Lord. The Lord is gonna push the bottom lane. I mean, everything they're playing oh, into the team, just so time. much smart. Like, they're very intelligent what, what they're trying to do. Their strategy's on point, understanding what they need to do to the next level, and there's a reason why they're in a commanding 5k net worth lead. And, and it's not like Elva V9 is like playing badly. Yeah, he's just died the once. Oh, but uh, Evo is just tearing everything apart. Everything, everything. They're, the coordination is completely on point just to how they're able to just stick together. They take the turret that they wanted and they want more. They're sticking around, making it very difficult for Team Flash to provide any sort of defense at this stage. Yep, and it's a two to three level advantage from Evo. Oh, they're gonna have to draw the barrier just to stop the bleeding. Feathered Airstrike, just slow it down. See what we can do with the Cult Altar that's gonna be used again, and they're gonna go in. Pokemon trying to get stay alive. He does have just barely enough, and Pokemon has been removed. Powerful is gonna get sliced and diced. The lethal counter is on point, but they've gotten the inhibitor to turn. The Lord is continuing to march in. There, there's, a, there's, a bit, there's a bit of a timer. Reminiscent trying to spin. Evil are going to back off. They're going to look to take the mid lane here. KZP, he's going to be fine for now. They've got the other inhibitor turret. The last one standing. The Bastion of Hope is in the top lane. Uh, Team Flash is extremely lucky that this is the 11-minute mark, right? Uh, so Kuda, the death timers are still a bit short. Oh, the Feathered Air Strike one more time, but Jay getting blown up there! JS will secure that one! They've gotten the stun. Carrot trying to stay alive. He does need to be careful. He's gonna be alive, at least for now, but Melon, they're continuing to fight, and Pokemon is up front, but where's the damage? Carrot survives, and nobody from Evil has fallen. Yep, not yet, and they get all three tier 3 turrets as well in the base. So it's a barren land on the base of Team Flash now, and I don't see how they're going to come back. From. This is it. Team Flash backs on the wall. They lose this game. They are out. They are relegation. All of that, they lose everything. This is all up to evil to close out the game. So thousands of hours going to the drain in a matter of 50 seconds. The next 50 seconds will decide Team Flash's Fate. And Ooh. you know, Evil, they are feeling it, they are comfortable. They are fans, can we hear you? Can we hear you scream again for Team Evil? Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, here we go. That's it. That, that's what they're feeling right now. They're feeling it. Right? This is the community team. This is the team that made it through the open qualifiers. To get themselves into this situation where you have a chance at the top six is actually speaking volumes of evil. They put in the thousands of hours, but so has Team Flash, right? How do they get back in this game? I have no idea. At, at this point, <laughs> I have okay, no idea. Okay, all right, right? all right. Like, <laughs> at least we know, we don't know. <laughs> Team Flash, they, they have a lot of things they need to accomplish, You're right. right? The first thing first is to get rid of that Cult's altar. But how do you do that when they have the insurance of JS? Oh, the I'm IMU is able to turn the tables around any point of time. And, you know, Melon doesn't even have to pop the Cult's altar at any point of time early. He can always afford to do it extremely late. That, and that's those, the insurance. That, those two draft picks back to back was just so key. Like you, 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 you take both of them, and they're gonna take an easy lord here. Oh, here no we go. Real chance. Pokemon actually going in for this one. They are doing some damage, but they're gonna just turn this around. Pokemon gets blown up. Yeah, you're a tank, but you don't have the damage. Evil are on the run. They want more. Feathered air strike. That's gonna be immediately canceled. That's been done. KCP trying to stay alive. Gets the dash away. He is fine, but they're gonna look to focus now on Remesit. Powerful wants KCP. They've got Remesit. KCP does get to the fountain. He's fine. Powerful looking to stick around. He's gonna just a little BM there by the you know the spamming of the recall, but they have the base That's wide it. open. Jay's getting blown up. Coconut does need to be careful. They've got an Alpha V9, and that is pretty much all the damage you need. Feather airstrike doesn't really matter. They've gotten the base, and Evil will take game two. Yeah, please, please. For the side of Evil, you can hear their fans screaming and shouting. This is the Evil they've been waiting wow. for all season, regular season, wow. and now with the playoffs. This is a totally different team. Absolutely.